ladies? Didn't we do that already? Didn't we do that already, my man? Oh, thank you for that, Aegis. That's very much appreciated. What is up, beautiful people? It's Celadin here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing Kali in Jungle Conquest, accompanied here by Janice against what looks like a Mercury Neath? Hades? Hades in mid, I guess. Yeah, Hades makes more sense. We're starting at a speed buff as per usual, uh, making our rotation. How are you guys doing? Having a wonderful day? I'm having a wonderful day so far. Well, you know how the world is right now, so hopefully we'll have some good times playing this game of Smite right here. Attack the minions! On my way! On my way! Heimdall is coming here. Unfortunately, we dropped one small, but we're gonna give him level two. No, unfortunate. I messed this up a little bit, so but he's gonna hit level two very soon. Uh, Mercury's coming this way. Can we contest? No, we shouldn't. We're just going straight to the lane. He's here. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same. We're gonna skip the mids for the later. That's what happens quite often nowadays. People just go straight for the wave because the red buff is such so much more important. And nobody wants to lose pressure in mid. We're gonna look at the oracles. No, no. Enemies in middle lane. He's back in mid. We're gonna help him too. Gonna heal up with my jump and be able to tank these until Janus pushes them out. Fortunately, we lost right mids. Looks like Janus is covering from my smalls. No, no, he just just stands under the tower and wastes this portal. Let's kill somebody in dual lane instead. They're out of position. I, I'm easy to follow Neath. There you go. She jumps, I jump, we get a kill. We cannot kill her, just poke her out a little bit. Retreat. Gonna push out this wave because I deserve it. And straight up back over here because my speed buff is up. A successful gank here puts us ahead a little bit because uh, I didn't get the actual kill, which is unfortunate. But overall, some extra pressure on the duel. Look at the dueling, god damn it. They pushed up into the purple, they're way out of position, and they get rotated on by four people. By Hades and the Mercury. Yeah, there's the Mercury. And there goes our advantage that we just got. At least one of them should die, probably both. Now, it looks like a Zanami is out, but yeah. Our support is dead. And there goes our advantage. Thanks. Okay, literally right all lane. my teammates are trolls. There's a chance that blue buff is up, so I'm gonna go there because Mercury spent way too much time in the dual lane. Damn it, this check. He's very low. Let's follow him. Ooh, good follow up. Mercury's here. Huh, I thought he was still in duel. But it doesn't matter, we're safe. Uh, he cannot push into us level 4. Let's go straight for that blue buff over here. Just drop it as quick as we can. And get out. Heimdall is very spammy, but he understands the idea, so it's fine. He doesn't need to pick it up. Actually, the more time it's on the ground, the less time Chuck will have it, so... Even though it's Chuck, he doesn't really depend on blue buff as much, but just the pressure, the mental pressure of us having it as free as we just did. And Mercury overstayed in soul lane and actually managed to find a kill on Heimdaller, because Heim did not anticipate him just standing there for like solid 30 seconds. While he was doing that, I was farming. So I should be a little bit more ahead now. I expect to hit level 6 before he does, but there's nothing in the jungle. Looks like Janus is soaking up all of my experience from the smalls. Let's blink on the Hades here and see what we can do. 
Nah, Mercury should. Oh, hello, hello, Mercury. <laughs> he got so fucked up. When I didn't see him there. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate, man. Oh, he wants to fight me. He's still fighting. Uh, my two is down. That was unfortunate. If I had my two off of that stun, I would have dealt a lot of damage there. We got a solid poke in her. And Hades is very low in mid. I can't do anything about it. Enemy spotted. Let's go, baby. Let's be stupid over here. Let's see what we can do. Oh! <laughs> These guys are not having any luck with their dashes today, don't they? Oh, she 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 sends everything into me. I can just I'm just straight up backing, man. Why would you waste all that mana? <laughs> Unfortunate timing because of the Janus. So I lost like 10 seconds here. Speed buff wasn't up. Smalls were, and we had to do the old jiggle jiggle over here. But it's fine. We're not min maxing over here, so. Oh, there's a big fight. There's a party near the Gold Fury. Let's get in over here. If we can use that portal, it'll be lit. That's nice. Okay. Oh, I missed my two. Oh, Mercury is ready to ult. Let's force him just following the Matarasso in the vision. Yeah, there goes the ult. The purple up just came up. Enemy spotted. I don't think I'm gonna be stealing that. I'll look at his speed buff instead because he just blinked. Ah, oh, I wanted to blink, but those goddamn minions. That probably, I'm not gonna be able to steal that. Yeah, yeah, he's full commit and very lucky on the timing here. Can I kill him though? No, I don't think so. He wants to pick it up so we can deal with some more damage. That's about it. We just pushed him out. That's the best we can. That's not mine. Ooh, Chak is way out of position again. Let's just grab him. He's free. Oh, he just used his axe as well. Yep, I kind of saw what he did there. He tried to confuse me, but I was paying attention to their fight. So he wanted to for me to blink on him and do that, but I knew what he was doing. Looks like Heimdall overstayed yet again. That's like his favorite thing. And he complains about being ganked by three people. Well, there was nothing in his lane to stay for. Was Chuck being dead and everything? No rotation, no calls. Right after I gank him, right after I gank successfully his lane for the second time. Some people just don't appreciate little things, you know. Well, let's stop paying attention to that. We're gonna push this out so we not not to get additional damage on that tower. Heimdall is walking, so. Let's drop a totem while we at it. Why the hell not? Ooh, this one is a fat totem. Chalk is nah. He's fine. There's a party mid. Let's join. I think speed buff just came up. Yep, yep. This man is not paying attention, and there's nothing in the left jungle to lose. So, we didn't even trade, we just straight up took it. Gank right lane. Looks like Chalk is getting ulted again. Heimdallr wasted his ult and asking for a gank. Among the people that nobody is even <laughs> remotely close to him. Ooh, that's, that's Mercury ult. Yep, yeah, there you go. Just follow him. Oh, come on, man. My ult is out of reach. I still grabbed the mark, so it's fine. Okay, I knew I could steal this, and it's better for me to steal because I get so much more gold and experience off of that kill. Ooh, you did not want to do that, my man. Like, why the hell would you waste your dash like this? Especially in Hades. Don't waste your jump after, like, level 4. You don't need it, just use your 2 and 3 for full clear and keep your jump for the safety. Hello Amaterasu, how you doing? Let's poke you up a little bit. Maybe even kill you? Nah, she's gonna dash in a second. Let's maybe bait her ult. Okay, 
I got baited there. That was stupid. I'm gonna... Oh, come on, guys. Like, give me a break. Please give me a chance. Why would you waste three ultimates? I put up my mark on Neath because I'm gonna be looking for a gank in that lane. Looks like our tower in dual lane is pressured out, so... If I can grab a couple kills on her with my mark, that'll be nice. Janus wasted his ult, didn't hit, and Yorm is diving a tower, which is not the play. I don't know if Neath has a word here, but I'm gonna be trying to gank her right now. Hopefully she doesn't. Yep, she's deep. We blink on her again. We jump over. So we kind of stick to her with her ult now. That's a good stun, but she's not getting out of this. And bop. Gonna push this wave and probably back straight over here so they won't be able to rotate. They will be looking for me in the jungle. But I'm gonna back over here. We're picking up our haste and katana and next will be stone cutting sword. That will give us a lot of chase potential and we are ahead three levels on the enemy jungler which is quite insane frankly. Hades is here. Let's test our Hasten Katana. He still doesn't know that we have it. <laughs> he tries to run. He hold on to his jump, but... <laughs> yeah, that's not the play, man. At this point, you should just straight up look at your positioning. If you allow me to stick to you like that. You jump, I jump, nothing changes really. And I'm just gonna walk you down. A good play by him would probably be to just auto attack me once. To just stay calm, auto attack me once, put on blight, put on silence and that will become a fear if the blight is on. And then just dash away, that might have given him a chance. But the way he did, like thinking the jump is gonna save him if he does it late enough, like I have a jump too man. Looks like Chuck is struggling. This is down. We're just gonna straight up take the tower. Kinda tried to jump his ult, but I guess I mistimed it very, very badly. Gonna grab a tower as quick as possible and... Ooh, wow. That's Mercury ult, Juke. Come on, guys. This Neath ult is so slow, what the hell? Four people over here, all right. Chill out guys, what the hell? We're looking at Neath, but unfortunately, as soon as I put down the mark, she got killed. So we still have a mark in her, but we're not gonna be able to get it for quite some time. All right, Amaterasu straight up killed herself. So nothing to do on that lane anymore, we're gonna drop. Oh. What a dick move. God damn it. Mercury is like salty as shit if he does that. But it's fine. We're still four levels ahead of him. So I guess the best thing he can do is being salty. Nothing on the map in my jungle. Janus is having a good time. Um, taking all of my experience and still being the same level. So I guess since we're the same level, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna allow him that. I'd rather prefer that than people just ignoring the jungle. Ooh, there's a party. Let's blink on Mercury. Put some more pressure onto the man. He has to ult out. Yeah, there goes the ult. I'm gonna get fucked right now. Let's try and get out. No, they're, they're still running. I have to be better timing my ultimates here, say for the second time. I'm expecting them to just let me go as soon as I ult, but these motherfuckers just keep chasing, so I, I have to be better with the timing. <laughs> Look at this man calling for help. He spent the whole time during the last fight in the lane. He made two swings at a tower got altered by Neath and just ran the whole lane <laughs> screaming help <laughs> oh shit they're doing the fire giant but his anami is pushing left let's do something here at least let's pull somebody here i want to go on hades he's low yeah okay i fucking jumped into the knockup uh yorm is still doing that 
stretching their them thin. They are very low, nobody is dead, but Izanami is still pushing left lane, which is fortunate for us. They gotta get Fire Giant with the intention to get Phoenix. And we get just get the Phoenix instead, so it's more than worth it for us. Even with my stupid play over there, that was a really bad play, I apologize for that. <laughs> Janice is laughing because nobody died. And I mean, like, we did. <laughs> we kinda did. But like I said, it's worth it. Fire Giant for confirmed Phoenix. Now all we need to do is just defend. And since we're ahead, it, and since we're ahead, it's not gonna be a big problem. Look at my team just ignoring the gold fury. Holy shit. Oh, hello, Hades. Didn't we do that already? Oh, that's a lot of people. Looks like I'm walking on the ward. Look at the Mercury just following me around. Oh! Amatrasso, <laughs> hello. Yeah, apparently I wasn't walking, I just stood on the ward. Uh, Izanami's dead. Let's see if I can do something. Alright, I kind of wanted that low HP. Oh, my two. My two missed, so now we're kind of in the trouble. We need to jump the last hit of the ammo ults. Zone away that. Yeah, there's nothing. And look at the Heimdall here, just, just straight up being AFK in lane, as he always does. Mm, nothing I can do about this tower. Let's try and maybe deal some damage here. Nah, I'm dead. That was stupid. Should have left, but I'm trying to keep them engaged while Heim just taking the Phoenix. Heim the leader is suiciding for the Phoenix, but putting the mark on Neath again is the easiest kill to confirm. Janice is chasing Hades out of position, probably going down very soon too. Nah, uh, he seemed to be fine. So we lost most of our advantage. Just as easy as that because our ADC or, well, solo laner in this regard is completely useless. And their Hades is quite present with them silences and ultimate pulls. Your right tower is under attack. Heimdall is suiciding for the Phoenix again. He doesn't really realize that it's not worth it. But I mean, at least he finally did it, so... Considering that's the only thing he was doing this whole game, he's a part of three kills total. And a part of six deaths from the enemy team. So he's almost on the enemy team, basically, considering the score. Getting that Phoenix is the best we can get out of him. We got Gold Fury, which is nice. I confirmed the Pyromancer. That's all the objectives on the map. There's a big fight in left, but we're gonna push another wave so that we don't lose the right lane. Yorm is ulting late again. He's dead with his ult up yet again. Which is extremely unfortunate considering he should be a support and should have a lot of defense and more than enough time to confirm his ult. Okay, so now we have everything we wanted. We have a lot of attack speed, move speed, we have Kins. Finally, we deal large amounts of damage to Amaterasu, Chalk, and Hades. And we also about to pick up Executioner. So our next fight is gonna be very promising. Probably gonna decide this game. Defend the fire giant. Ultimate is ready. I would like to see some words on the map. Like, there's one on the fire giant now, which is nice. Uh, he, Neath is out of position. She's coming mid. I can catch her here. Oh, hello, Neath. Didn't we do that already? Yeah, my damage is absolutely through the roof. Without help, Hades going down to three people. We can confirm fire giant over here, especially since my team is spamming that so we can get it Yorm is straight up AFK in the dual lane Chalk's here 
Let's try and do something about this chalk. I need to get out. That's bad. Mercury wanted to chase me, he missed. Let's bait over here. Yeah, he's coming my way. That gives some space to other people. And now Merc's out of position. We're gonna straight up back and run back into this fight with my red pot and executioner ready. There's a fight in smalls. Oh, hello, Chuck. You're done for. This time, you're not getting anywhere, my man. Let's get Ama. Nope, let's sank this man. Still have a so uh, Oh, we don't have an ult. But it's fine. I healed. God damn. I wanted to avoid her too, but that was such a long cast. It's not often you play against me, so I mistimed that very, very badly. Attack the right phoenix. Let's go, baby. Attack. Attack. This should be game. The enemy team only has a support. Uh, we have right phoenix coming up. They should push it down and just straight up go for the titan. Just fully commit and we're gonna win this game easily. Nothing Amaterasu can do. Her ult should be down. Just, just stand there, just tank it and ignore her completely. Oh, looks like, looks like a tsunami is going down. Looks like nobody is committing. Nobody is ready to tank the Titan. Oh my god. They're actually resetting it now. <laughs> They're not in there, man. Oh my god. Well, the Titan is pretty low, so the next time this happens, we're gonna have a good game on our hands. But goddamn. Should I make a guide like about how end games when you're four against one? Just walk in there, use all your damage on the Titan, ignore everyone else, and it should work. Oh, hello, Hades. Didn't we do that already? Didn't we do that already, my man? Oh, thank you for that, Aegis. That's very much appreciated. This man just doesn't learn. Like I said, he's only option here to maybe buy some time and deal a little bit more damage, maybe bait out my ult or something like that. Is to stay calm, auto attack me once, blight me, then put on fear and dash afterwards. That gives him enough distance while I'm feared. At least you get my beats off of that. Maybe when I ca catch up to you again, I don't do as much damage. Maybe someone from it, his team rotates and you get something out of me at least. You probably still die though, but like, don't just run while I'm wailing onto you. That doesn't help you. We did that three times now. He should be more aware by now. Okay, I'm gonna grab this, why the hell not? Looking for somebody getting out of position. I feel like I can just walk in. Oh, hello Hades, didn't we do that already? What you doing, my man? Oh, you jumped, oh, oh, you jumped. Okay, my team finally commits. We're gonna heal up off of this neat. Doesn't even matter. Finally, they actually dive into the Titan room. Would rather report uh, Yorm for griefing, and that'll be the game. Five dollars calling is an army a better player. That also implies that he is a good player. Hmm. Let's check up on the stats. Okay, guys, in terms of builds, we are starting attack speed boots into Crusher for early burst on my two. In terms of ability damage and extra attack speed and penetration on my swings, we go on Hasten Katana, Stone Cutting, and Kints because that's pretty much staple. Hasten Katana allows you to stick to people, and if they have just one jump, you just jump with them, and they cannot really do anything. Purification, Beads, and Blink is quite a staple on the Kali as well. Kins is the main source of my damage because we're not looking for high burst. We're looking for chipping away with a short attack speed chain and a lot of attack speed. And Executioner because Amaterasu and Chalk were a problem, and Hades also sports quite a fair amount of physical defense, so just decrease that is very important for my kins to actually do damage. We're sitting on 2.3 attack speed and 
235 power a small amount of penetration but percent penetration as well which is good enough in terms of damage are also a part of 14 kills which is by far more than anyone else on the team and is two-thirds of our ki kills total which is as good participation in, a, in, in an even game as a jungler as you can expect in terms of damage, I out damage enemy jungler by almost 3 times, which kind of feels like it might have affected our game a little bit, but I will let you guys decide. Our best player, Heimdaller, <laughs> is obviously not very good in terms of damage, almost the same damage as the enemy Chuck. Our support is getting out damage by a third of his damage, which is not a large amount, but Yomuganda can do a lot of damage and he should have done that. Our ADC is getting out damage by a third of his damage, which is quite significant. Our mid laner is actually almost twice out damaging the Hades. As I stated, and as you can clearly see over here, me and Janus were carrying this game. Me more than him, but he did a pretty good job as well. And if you look at the worrying, I put down 11 and he did the same thing, while our support just put down 8 and the best player on our team quote unquote put down 2 which means he didn't exhaust his free warding in the solo lane and he's also coincidentally complaining about being ganked the most I wonder why on the enemy team uh, the solo laner puts down a significant amount of wards. everybody actually put down a significant amount of wards. they exhaust the free ward and put down a couple extra but their support put down not the best amount which means that it, it was still underperforming in this regard and yes guys that will be a game of Kali for you in conquest jungle hopefully you enjoyed the game very strong hyper late game jungler if we get to six items it's very very easy to kill anyone you just blink in if you have beats and ultimates and want somebody dead he's just he just dies pick her up if you want to do some hyper late game stuff if you have other people playing gods in the early game that will get you through to the late game and then you just win games hopefully guys you enjoyed the video if you're new to the channel please subscribe it helps me immensely if you want to ask me a question leave a comment i respond to every single comment on my channel if you like the video leave a like on the video it helps other people to find my content which is much appreciated and as always i hope to see you in the next video have a wonderful day.